What's good, family? You are looking live at another episode of Special Delivery, and we have another, yes, another pair of New Balance 1000s. I told y'all I'm addicted to this silhouette right here. This 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 story is, it might be my one for for 2024, man. I don't know, but these are the Ame Leon door pair, the, the pristine colorway, which is like that that white and gray colorway. We gonna crack these things open. You gotta see it to believe it. So. Let's let's get right into it, man. Let's let's see. Let's see what these joints hitting on, dog. First of all, the the packaging right here. Y'all see this reflective that that Ame logo right there? Like that's that's sick. You got the dots on the inside. I have no idea what this is, but I just know it looks cool, dog. You got the 1000 on the paper right there. And then you got these joints right here, man. Come on, bro. Yo, Teddy Sanders be up in that house cooking, boy. I'm telling you, look at, hey, bro, come on, man. So, so this is the Ame Leon Door New Balance 1000 in that pristine colorway. Uh, this joint is, it's just a unique take on a silhouette that I already feel like was pretty unique in itself. So. You know, the 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 big thing with the, the New Balance 1000 that I've really fallen in love with is the, the mesh, the breathable mesh, but there's not any of that on these joints. So you, you just have really just a bunch of leather and uh, TPU plastics on on the upper here. Um, like you have this, that, that flowy look that you have on that synthetic leather is, is in this shoe, it's just that TPU right here going all the way through. Then you got that Ame logo right there instead of the New Balance 1000. Toe is this, this thick hit of leather right there. And then you go up to the vamp right here. You can see this is not mesh right here. This is normally a mesh material. It's actually just leather here. And it's perforated to, to keep that breathability there. But then you go up the lace right here. You get some more of that TPU right there. It's just different material, a different set of materials. And you go to the um, the the medial side of the sneaker right here you get another piece of that that flowy uh tpu piece right there and it just it it gives the shoe a bit of an an elevated look i would say um as opposed to the gr model that that we we've seen previously like it's just it's just different and you got that same material right here on that new balance and on both sides of the uh the sneaker got that ame logo right there on the tongue this tongue is also pretty thick right here you get get a little bit of pad and a little bit of cushioning um you get this hang tag right here this really cool hang tag with that that ame logo right there it just looks looks really dope right here i taken i don't know what i'm gonna do with this when i take it off but i need to find something to do with it because it looks real cool like maybe i'll put it on some keys or something Think about these joints is that you get a few different lace swaps right here. I'm going to keep this reflective joint in right here. This uh, this white and it's got this like little gray, these little gray 3M hits in it that, that just make it pop out a little bit more to me. But if you want, you could go for the classic white look right there or you could swap for the gray, which matches the little the, the contrast that you have and like the, um, the the lace loops down here or the, um, the gray in or even the heel counter back here, as you can see. Uh, but yo, this is just a, a really nice shoe, man. Um, that absorb cushioning is obviously here. Uh, outsole is, is black, um, which contrasts the, the rest of the, the white or pristine quote unquote sneaker right here, man. But yo, this is, this is one that I'm really excited to wear. I am terrified of getting these joints dirty. Do not get it twisted. White shoes and, and summertime often do not mix. But I'm going to risk it all anyway because these joints are just that clean. Uh, they retail for $180, which is generally a little bit over that, um, that, that $160 price point that we see with the, uh, the, the New Balance 1000. But let me tell you, with the elevated materials in this joint, it is definitely worth it, in my opinion. Um, aftermarket, because these joints have obviously sold out along with the, uh, the gray and the, the black colorway in these joints so you're gonna have to go to the aftermarket for these this is one that is it's a bit confounding to me because i feel like it is the best colorway that that aod gave us of these three sneakers but i think it is the non-exclusive colorway so you'll you'll see this one selling in places like uh like newbalance.com will sell sell pairs you got uh i'm on and that's selling pairs just all these different retailers that are, are selling pairs out there so you'll be able to get them 
Um, but on the aftermarket, it, they, they retail for, or, or they sell, I should say, for around, it's, it's somewhere between like $250 and $300, which is uh, quite a bit over what that retail price is. You know, if you really feel like you, you need these joints, then, then that's definitely the move for you. I don't think the price is like too crazy or anything to, to dissuade somebody who feels like they really need these joints. But man, this is just a really nice sneaker from Teddy Santos and company. They did a really good job of uh, putting these shorts together, giving it that, that elevated look with elevated materials and making them look a little bit different from the New Balance 1000s that we've seen um, so far. So I'm just really excited for, for this silhouette and what's to come, man. But anyway, that's a wrap for this episode of Special Delivery. I'm your boy Sykes, and this is that ALD 1000 and that pristine colorway. Catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.